It's great that you're here. We're still doing circle theorems. Yeah, check my site explainingmaths.com where you'll find all of them nicely organized. And in the previous video, we have done yeah the arrow, if you like, yeah, which is um, the angles um, at the center of a circle. Yeah? So if I have a radius and a radius, and I meet somewhere else then that angle is half the angle created by those two radii, okay? And um, now we're gonna have a look at the angles in a semicircle, which is closely related to this one, or actually exactly the same, angles in a semicircle. So I have sketched this circle here. So semicircle is half a circle, I hope you realize that. All right, and um, how do we call that line then? We call that the diameter, okay? And what did we say? Again, going back to the previous uh, video, what did we say? Well, if I have a radius and a radius, then this angle is twice as big as the angle there at the circumference, okay? So a diameter is a radius and a radius. So far it is actually still the same circle theorem. So now if they meet somewhere at the circumference, what does that make this angle? That is half the size of this one. And what is the size of this angle? Well, it's a diameter, it's a straight line, it's 180 degrees. So that makes that a right angle triangle. And that is crucial for you to realize in questions, whenever, and they will talk about, oh, uh, let's say AB, the line AB is the diameter, and you're doing circle theorems, then you are looking for right angle triangle. Because a right angle triangle, of course, all of a sudden you can do some Pythagoras theorem. All of a sudden you can do some basic trigonometry. Whenever they talk about the diameter in a circle, yeah, which goes, which is a radius in both directions, it's a straight line, talking about right angle triangles, okay? So it's the angle still at the center of a circle, where the angle then at the circumference is half the angle there of uh, the one in the middle. Yeah? Now I should try to use proper English. Yeah? And I'm trying to show you by creating different triangles that it doesn't matter where they meet on the circumference, it will always be a right angle triangle that you create because that angle at the circumference is half the angle there. Half of 180 is 90 degrees. Right angle triangle. Good. Like and share if it was useful, guys. Um, I appreciate it. Check my site, expandingmaths.com, or uh, for all my resources. Find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. We have done the angles at the center. Now, the next video, we are going to look at angles in the same segment. So, we are going to leave the center of the circle, and we're going to have a look at situations like this, okay? So, it doesn't go through the center anymore. So, I hope to see you there, uh, and otherwise, have a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.